Okay, so the first thing I want to cover is just doing our basic input outputs in pseudocode. So first things first, now you can be handwritten or type, doesn't really matter. We need to create our variable. So for now, we're just going to input a number, we'll input a name actually, and then I'll put that name. So we're going to declare, and then we're going to declare what's, what our variable name is going to be. So we're going to call it username. Now good practice is we always start with a lowercase at the beginning of our um, variable, colon, string, like that, okay? Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so a program takes your first name and last name, and then it swaps them. So instead of saying for me, Reese Drury, it'll say Drury Reese. So let's just change this to be first name, and then I'm going to declare last name as a string. Now I need to output what I'm going to output, so I'm going to output please enter your first name and I'm going to input first name like that. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same again, so output please enter your last name. I'm going to input last name. And now I'm just going to output first uh, last name plus space plus first name. Now it's really important that your variable names line up like this. So if I put a capital somewhere, I need to put a capital in that. So now I've got my variables. I'm outputting please enter your first name. I'm inputting the first name. I'm outputting please enter your last name. And I'm inputting that in. And then I'll put it in the reverse. So if I put some comments in there, so if I type in Reese and I type in Rory, it should output Rory Reese like that. And that is your basic input output for a string. Now another thing you might do is you might want to do some input and outputs with some numbers. So let's get rid of all this. We're gonna declare Get caps up off. Number one as an integer. Try and avoid writing int. So instead of doing, try to avoid doing that. If you can, declare Let's keep it consistent. And now I'm going to input some numbers again. So I'm going to output. number and then we're going to save a little bit of time I mean the good thing about doing it on computer is I've been copy and paste but obviously in the exam you've got paper so you can't do that and then we're going to input number one and then we're going to input number two now if I want to add these up I need to have another variable so what's always a good idea is on the computer it's fine there's no issue but if you're writing an algorithm I would always leave a little bit of space around your declares to just put in an extra declare if you need it so for example now I realize that I'm going to do a total so I need to make another variable so I can go declare total it's integer again but now I can just go total and then you can't use equals in the exam but I sort of imagine the error is pretty much like equals you would in programming. So if you've programmed before, you'd be thinking why am I using equals? And it's just how Cambridge set their pseudo code. So I've got total is whatever's already in total plus uh, number one plus number two. Now for this example, because nothing else has been in total before, just number one plus number two is absolutely fine. However, if I now wanted to add a third number, so output enter a third number, I could input number three. If I wanted to keep this third number, the first two numbers added up, I could then reassign total to be whatever's already in total plus number three. 
And obviously I need to go back to the top here and declare number three as an integer like that. So now I've got my four variables. So as I said, if you keep that space there at the beginning of your algorithm, you shouldn't be able to add some variables in really easily. If you do forget. But also, it's also my bad because really I should have planned out my variables and planned the program I was going to write before I went and actually wrote the program. So it's actually poor planning on my half and my part. So I output the first number there, then input it, output the second number, input that number, then I assign total to be number one plus number two, and then I'll put enter a third number, I input the third number, add them all up, and then this would eventually or essentially add up three numbers for me. So that is how we can do our input and output with a little bit of mathematics in there for numbers.